today we're going to troubleshoot this laptop which is not turning on when you press the power button from the side there is no signs of life no LED lights and no fan spinning let's check it out Hilim Tax and welcome this is Ash from Hilim Tech and on this channel I will help you improve your relationship with technology so find a subscribe button click on it and click on the bell icon to go from newbie to techie also Amazon affiliate links in the description below will help out the channel so this is the Lenovo Yoga 900-13 ISK please accept my apologies for the setup I normally do this top-down filming style but since we are on day two of the lockdown in UK I'm at home I've had to bring whatever I could grab so my setup is not ideal right now now to troubleshoot a Lenovo laptop or any laptop with power issues it is not different to troubleshooting a desktop with power issues we've said it many times and I'm going to repeat it if you have power problems you deal with power before you think about motherboard or RAM or processor or anything else of course you've got two contact points for power you've got at the back which is going to come from your mains convert into DC through your charger into the cable and then you'll have DC at some point on the motherboard entry and of course you've got also the power button at the side which potentially could be a problem if it's broken if it's not creating contact now just to show you my little setup I've got a digital multimeter which will come in handy later link below I've got a phone which will become uh, evident why we have this right now and I've also got another type of uh, USB cable which is just for a normal Android this is a standard one and I've got this little gadget which is a USB tester from Amazon again link below I'll explain what that means now traditionally if you were going to test a normal laptop standard laptop with a power problem I would ask you to grab your multimeter and test for DC voltage at the pin which uh, goes into your laptop however as you can tell and let me zoom that in because this is one problem with these proprietary designs this is a USB charger and if you can see on the side here you've got a little kind of edge triangle pointy thing whatever so this is not standard USB at all and the port is the same which means we're gonna have a problem trying to test for DC voltage here I do not have the schematics the next best thing to do is to try and test all the entry points from the charger onto the motherboard and how do we do this few ways the probably better way to do this is to grab yourself your multimeter and we're going to plug in our USB into the port okay and uh, what should happen let me focus that in so this is uh, the cable for the DC entry point and there are five pins here and uh, pins number three and four is red and black so that's the positive and negative so we're going to try and measure DC voltage on pins number three and number four now I'm kind of speaking a couple of steps because I normally do this quite a lot but you should really be thorough and if you followed my previous tutorials you should really test your AC voltage first from the mains uh, if you can okay but I've already done that test so we're going to straight to DC today and we're going to use this little multimeter here and this is AC we put this on DC right now what I'm doing is I'm testing for DC voltage at pin number three and pin number four if I can see this that's three and that's four and like you can see on the multimeter we are not getting a correct DC voltage all right it's all over the place but we're not getting DC volt and how do we know what DC volt we're supposed to get now on the charger itself it will tell you usually if you have a look put a picture later on you may not see it but it's giving me supposedly DC output as 5.2 volt and to amp what we can ascertain from this since we're not getting any voltage at this point okay at the entry on the motherboard there is uh, a big chance you've got a problem on the DC cable or this USB cable or the charger because we've got three components now a little history on this the client actually did already buy a replacement charger with a cable and that didn't work they also bought another battery to replace it a brand new one and that didn't work 
they also bought a brand new motherboard and tried to replace it and that didn't work the only mistake they did was they actually bought these components separately and then they returned these components one at a time except for the motherboard is still here but I've done this test with uh, this charger cable with a new motherboard even with nothing connected nothing plugged in including removing the battery and I'm still not getting any DC voltage at this entry point here so I'm pretty confident that is not the motherboard issue it is highly unlikely but not entirely impossible so what I can do at this stage is to show you this little gadget and uh, explain that this is a little USB um, tester it should in principle give you voltage and amp reading so we're going to a little test so if we connect the charger back in all right and then i'm going to plug this little gadget in first link for this for amazon again in the description below and then we are going to connect the funny bit into the port at the back here and then we're going to connect this into this bit okay that's a normal usb part at least there's one bit that's actually normal and now what I'm getting as reading is a voltage reading DC if you can see it says 5.5 .5, but I'm not getting amp those uh, triple digit on the right should be amp voltage I'm not getting amp so it's giving me DC but not amp which possibly could signify that the charger isn't um, well enough or good enough or strong enough to give me amp and that's a very common problem so we can test this if we grab a normal low powered or any other device uh, USB powered uh, like a smartphone and I'm gonna grab another cable because obviously I can't test with this cable this is proprietary so I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna plug in the normal USB cable and I'm gonna plug in a phone right so if I plug that in I'm getting charge on the phone can you see I'm getting charge on the phone yeah and what about the reading right now I'm getting a reading both of uh, DC 5.45 and also I'm getting amp 0.96 so what we've done here is to confirm that at least the charger has enough juice to power a low device. Now, this is not 100% accurate that the charger is actually delivering 2 amps for this laptop. But at least it's giving us some form of confidence that we are doing something to test for current. Okay. Now, the problem is that we are in lockdown and I do not have access to other types of equipment, including another charger at this stage. So I can't really test for that. But we're going to assume, hopefully, with certain level of accuracy that the charger works. So which leaves us with potentially the USB cable or this DC cable. Now, again, unfortunately, I have ordered a new DC cable, but I could not get the right one. I tried to send the seller a message to confirm if it's the right DC cable with the right pin uh, array, but they could not confirm back and the client wanted to get the DC cable anyway, so we can test it. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. It's the wrong DC cable. So I'm left only with this cable and I have ordered another one. Unfortunately, again, we're getting the same reading, we, even with the other brand new motherboard. The only thing left for me to tell you is that this cable has a very funny shape. And inside of the cable, there are actually six pins on each end. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn it this way. Um, I'll show you a picture later. There are six pins. So I did a continuity test with my multimeter and the only reading I'm not getting is the middle pins, which is going to be three and four on each end, unless I've done the reading and the test incorrectly, but I'm not getting reading on pins three and four. However, I'm getting the same result with the other cable. Now, is it possible both cables is problematic? 
you know very unlikely but not entirely impossible again at this stage the only conclusion i can give the only thing i can suggest is if i was in the client's shoes and i'm gonna have to give back the laptop tomorrow we cannot continue the test because of the problem everywhere with the lockdown is to order a original charger from lenovo because i think what they did they ordered a compatible one not the original one and also to order original cable dc cable in from lenovo themselves to test the other thing i would request is that if you do have this problem you should get in touch with the manufacturer directly and ask them also for schematics for the motherboard and even for the cable and now some conclusion okay i did put this problem on my social media platforms and i also asked uh, a couple of other professional electronics engineers and they have both confirmed that this is the correct troubleshoot and diagnosis and they're also suggesting perhaps the charger hasn't got enough juice maybe or it's a problem with the cable or the usb cable unfortunately we cannot carry on the test to find a fix and if you are in this situation hopefully outside of this uh, lockdown uh, period please make sure you order the correct stuff from lenovo and uh, check with them now what i would advise this is a little bit of a pet peeve and you know my feelings about laptops generally especially when you have these very silly proprietary designs this is something which i feel is a very disheartening thing it's it's almost like for me daylight robbery this is my opinion i do not advise that you guys get proprietary designed uh, computers and laptops it's unfortunate because you're stuck with them and especially these kind of uh, models are discontinued so the support for them is not great if non-existent which is why some people are trying to lobby for a right to repair which i would highly encourage everyone to get on board with because manufacturers cannot keep treating us the way they do if they sell us something they have to include availability of spare parts give us schematics and also full tutorials on how to repair our own devices because we've bought that let's hope you guys can get on board with this little project so thank you so much for watching before you go make sure you watch these other two videos on your screen this will help you improve your relationship with technology don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon use my amazon affiliate links and i will see you in the next one until next time peace out